Aliwana mtarao kila siku He the one who moved Hana to pray so much Akasema huyu mtoto lazima apatikani Mwana sipe sana Na wakati alipatikana Hakuwa mtoto kawaida Let me tell you The reason was She spent so much money on her knees Kapla pati ya mtoto Mwana sipe sana Kina wana spend so much on your knees Wakati kita anguka Haita kuwa ni kawaida Wadu wana angalia na washanga Mwana sipe sana Kwa hivu wana sola When Samuel came It was not an ordinary child My prayers are you don't get ordinary blessings as a child of God. Get extraordinary. Amen. Amen. That's my prayer for you. And what are you going to do? Sa mi ni kwa na ni kwa ni pedia wakati wa raji na damani na na uomba kumbwa kwa ni angalia ni ndoa hamu kumi kwa huyu ameoko kwa na siku sana ya kaza na sasa ni mejua kumeoko for these people to confess like that ni kwa na uwa kwa chen kwa ni sasa sifu kwa na Samuel was not an ordinary child the Bible says Samuel was born at a time when heaven was closed for Israel. If you can go back to First Samuel, First Samuel, chapter three, chapter three, verse one. In Asema, the boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. In those days, the word of the Lord was read. What is fair, son? There were not many visions. And the answer you were carrying about, they were not hearing from heaven. I put on my own. What is fair, son? And you look at the Bible, Israel has seen. You look at the figure of man, the camera, the Kiangazi, the Neno, the Moon. It was a proud of the word of God. They were not hearing from God. It was a time that when heavens were closed. For this particular nation, like the Muga of Abadi, a king who was Samuel, born in Zivesan, and when Samuel was born, it was different. For the first time, born a Kaunikan, born in Zivesan, and the Bible adds, we have read the same chapter three, verse twenty-one, the same man. The Lord called him to appear at Shiloh, and there he revealed himself to Samuel through his word, born in Zivesan. So the moment Samuel came. Into ministry, when I see you, when I alianza, when I come. In other words, the heavens opened. When I see you, sir. So my prayer is, God opens the heavens in our life. We pray that the word of God gets revealed unto us, so that kile when I am kuzudia, tuweze ukipoke. Bwana sifia sana. Bwana Yesu sifia sana. Yes, all stand up. Tuweze kusimama. As we come to the end of this message. So it's my prayer. Ya kwa mba bwana, ahanze kwa chende. Jizi vile ilikuwa wakati wa Israeli, vile nasema Samuel aliingia wakati the heavens were closed, But the moment I in here, when I have the connection, Mara, come on, when I see sun, it's my prayer for the when I have the connection in your life. There's a reason why God gave me this work. Because if God wants to do something in your life, if you walk faithfully and obediently before Him, when I see sun. So let us be people who treasure, who be careful from the Lord, because His giving, His blessing is the very best. When is that fear, son? Ah, let's pray. Let's have, have some time to go before the Lord, even as we go. Mushukuru bana pamoja, nena dujambo, labda uko na itaji. The solution is just quiet before the Lord. Kilo na trajia, bana kutende, sikio dao. 
as we go to pray. Father, we worship you, O Lord. We glorify and magnify your own holy for this particular day, O Lord. As I say, we seek a moment for Tia Bana. There is no need to be in my heavenly image to come before you, O Lord. We receive glory and honor this particular day, O Lord. My heavenly Father, for being with us in this particular place, O Lord. There is a man here, Sunday, for Kila Moja Bana. Mayo lipuza kufika mbele zako siku ya leo bana Tunashukuru bana Na lipuza na pagi jina lako bana Kaibika jina lako kukosi Yesu Christu Ukati wabia katika jina lako bana Na kwa mbuku na mpago mizuri kwa ajili yetu bana Na amini katika jina lako kukosi Yesu Christu Na kwa mbuku na mpago mizuri bana Kwa kila mmoja mayo lipuza bana Kupatikana hapa siku ya leo bana Kaibika jina lako kukosi Yesu Christu Niyo mbiletu bana Uwezo kutone kanye bana Zalbewe ni mungu bana Unae kumbuka wachoto wako bana Sipi ya leo, tuna kutukuza bana Sipi ya leo, tuna bariki jina lako bana For whom you are in our life, O Lord Receive glory and honor from us, O Lord In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Show us of all, O Lord You have been our God, O Lord As of all my heavenly name, O Lord You have been our King, O Lord As of all my heavenly Father You have been our Redeemer, O Lord Receive glory and honor, O Lord In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ On this very ground, O Lord You are worshipped, O Lord You are glorified, O Lord Thank you, Lord, for this very crowd, O Lord. We bless your dream of your own visitation, O Lord. Asada would bury in a new lap of ban. Ukasema Katana Lakobana, and you are what my heavenly dim or Lord. It shall not go forth in vain, O Lord. Father, I believe my heavenly dim or Lord, that the word that you've given unto us, O Lord, Father, for this particular church, O Lord, it has not gone forth in vain, O Lord. Behold, your own children, O Lord, who left all, O Lord, to come and listen unto you, O Lord. Oh, tender, 
carry the general of the Holy Spirit. For everyone of us alone, we desire to hear you from you alone. We desire your direction alone. We desire your guidance alone. We desire your obedience alone. We rejoice and we are glad alone. We now want to carry the general of the Holy Spirit. Because when you speak, my heavenly Redeemer alone, you give us destiny alone. When you speak, my heavenly Redeemer alone, you open doors alone that we found in God's alone. I pray for each other. Na ni mubiri mkubwa sana 
Mungu akanionyesha yeye akaja mpaka mali nilikuwa akaja akaniuliza unataka tufanye nini kuzuri waimbo nikamwambia sijui alikongeka akarudi chini akahuzunika maana nilipatia jibu ya kwamba sijui tutafanya nini kuzuri waimbo na hapo kando kuna mtu alikuwa anaongea akaniambia haujui utafanya nini kwa sababu unakaa vibaya wewe umeaminiwa revival na watu wengine pia wako pamoja na wewe but you do not know what you are going to do maana unaishi vibaya so i have been crying unto god alisaidia kujielewa bwana yesu apewe sifa na tumeona kwamba solomon alipata jaji ufunuo mara mbili na ameandikwa kwa biblia hakupata mtu mwingi kama sisi hajapata maneno mengi kutoka kwa Mungu kama sisi mimi na wewe tumeendelewa sana eh pastor paul ameongelewa na Mungu mambo mengi lakini hakuna kitu kikubwa kinaonekana but solomon kwenye ukisoma bible alisikia Mungu mara mbili and that was enough na kamufu nayo akatembea nayo mpaka kaangalia kitabu cha muhubiri nilikuwa nikisoma kitabu cha muhubiri asubuhi na nilikuwa na mtazamo akisema all is vanity akizungumzia akisema kwamba tunapewa tufurahie na njia kukula tukule tukunywe tubaye tufurahie alafu nasema mwisho wa zote ni vanity akasema i had all wisdom nilikuwa na utajiri wote kweli alipewa utajiri na nimeangalia hilo neno zile vitu Solomon alipewa nikasema we need to go like unto God ili kwamba tusipate tu miujiza na ishara alafu tukose kuwa na nafasi katika society wakati amesema maskini azikilizwe kweli nimeangalia biblia inasema in a certain city there was a poor man who had wisdom he said that city aliyokuwa kwa mji wa hekima but nobody remembered him Aki umaskini ni mbaya. But kumbe utajiri inakuja tu kutoka kwa Bwana. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Eh, na tumeona Solomon akinenewa si maombi tu alikuwa ameomba sana, alikuwa ametoa sadaka sana. Ikeo. Paka ikashangaza. Ukisoma hapo inasema sikizi hata goes to ship what what ali chite nyingi mbele za Bwana paka Mungu akamtokelezea akamwambia because you have given i also will give but ask what you want me to give kasema just give me wisdom out of that bible inasema akapewa hizo vitu zingine zote including utajiri mamlaka ya kutisha nguvu za kutawala na utajiri kampeleka into a certain dimension akanena mambo makubwa sana kuhusu utajiri. Ukisoma Proverbs, ukisoma kitabu cha Mubiri, Solomon aliongea mambo makubwa kuhusu utajiri because alienda in a deeper way. But sisi tunasikia na Mungu anaongea na sisi na ndio tuko na Roho Mtakatifu, Solomon hakuwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Yet hakuna mbali tunaenda. Si Mungu atusaidie. Haleluya. Wangapi wamebarikiwa? that fa bwana wa amani akubariki mtumishi wa Mungu na kuzidishia pamoja na familia si ni vema tuaneneye mema na mambo mazuri juu ya maisha yao kama vile ambavyo wameshuhudia kweli ni marafiki nalo huyo anakaa wapi na romoro na romoro ni kule na nyuki wanaweza pewa sifa na si ni upendo kukuja hapa ya kwamba amesema nitakuja na ndugu yangu alafu akutane na baba yake maana kwao amada and a brother familia yao ni marafiki sana na tunatembea pamoja wako wengi si wachache but we work together as brothers and sisters so nawakaribisha sana nimefurahi bila mnakuja na mko karibu tena na tena haleluya na nitazidi kuwaita by the way watu wa western wako na wengi sijui wengine wameenda wengine lakini wako na wengi so hapa ni nyumbani kweli 
kama kuna mahali unafaa kukuja kila wakati. Eh. Hey. Haleluya. Ni wapi anafaa kukuja? Watu wa Westa mpo. Hebu mwanisheni kwa mfano anaweza kukuja mtu mmoja nataka kuangalia kwa ya kwamba hapa ni nyumbani. Kwa hivyo hapo unafaa sana na wengine hawako wengi hawako. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Bwana wa amani awabariki. Mimi sitaki mtuendelee na mambo mengine.